This is the third part and last part of our discussion on the complex exponents. So far, we have defined what is a complex exponent using, of course, the definition of exponential function and logarithmic function. Then uh, our key focus is basically trying to see that which of the properties uh, hold in the case of complex analysis case. Uh, uh, of course, uh, the properties that we want to check are the properties that we used and uh, observed in the real analysis case. Okay, so that's our uh, key focus. Now let's recall how did we define the complex exponential function. So z to the power c is equal to exponential of c log of z. Over here, log of z is a multi-valued function. So that's why z to the power c is a multi-valued function. But uh, we can calculate its principal branch or the principal value of the complex exponent is going to be equal to exponential of c principal value of the logarithm. And uh, of course, this is a single valued function because uh, the principal value uh, of the logarithm is basically a single valued function. Okay. Now, uh, in this uh, uh, discussion, we want to focus on the derivative of z to the power c. And of course, z to the power c is a multi valued function. So that's why we want to focus on its principal branch that we take by taking uh, log to be principal logarithmic. Okay. Now, z to the power c by definition is equal to this. And over here, you can notice that we are using the principal value of the logarithm. Now, we know that how to take the derivative of exponential function, how to take derivative of logarithmic function. Now, using uh, that knowledge and, of course, uh, uh, the rules of uh, differentiation, we can calculate the derivative of this single valued function, z to the power c. So, by using chain rule, we get uh, the following expression. Now, we know that uh, the derivative of uh, e to the power uh, some number is equal to the same thing and the derivative of its power. Now, the power is basically c log of z and uh, the derivative of c log of z is basically c over z because c is a constant and the derivative of a log of z is basically 1 over z. So, what do we get? So, we get the following expression. Now, this expression fortunately is very similar to the rule that we use in the real analysis case. Okay, and so that's why it's going to be very useful in our calculations in complex analysis. Now, uh, moving on uh, to the next uh, direction. Now, so far we have only defined uh, the complex exponential function e raised to power z, and we explored its properties, its uh, uh, geometrical properties, etc., etc. Now, uh, because now we can define a raised to power b, where a and b are complex numbers. Now, this gives us the opportunity to define uh, exponential functions with base to be any complex number. Over here, of course, you can see that uh, the base is fixed to be e, this constant, which is 2.7183. But now, using the definition of complex exponents, we can uh, define any exponential function with any base. Okay? Now, our focus is to define exponential function with base b. Okay. Now, how do we uh, define this thing? Of course, uh, using the definition of complex exponent, b raised to power z uh, is going to be equal to uh, exponential of z log of b. Okay. And of course, uh, once again, this log of b is a multi-valued function and that's why uh, b raised to power z is going to be a multi-valued function. And uh, uh, it will have the same uh, properties and uh, uh, it will have branches, it will have uh, a branch cut and uh, there are many ways of defining the branch cut and everything uh, that we have discussed in previous uh, discussions uh, is going to be uh, applied here and we can explore its uh, properties using the same uh, steps. Now, uh, the properties, they can be explored by using the definition and of course the properties of the exponential function because once again, uh, there is exponential function involved in this. Okay, so that's why uh, we can use the properties of exponential and of course uh, at some point we have to use the properties of the logarithmic function and using these properties we can find uh, the properties of this uh, ex uh, exponential function with base b. Okay? Now, uh, let's talk about uh, the derivative of uh, this multi-valued function. Now, of course, when we talk about the derivative, it has to be a single-valued function. So, we try to focus on only one branch of this uh, uh, exponential function. Okay, so it's a multi-valued, but we calculate only uh, for one branch. Okay, so uh, we can take it to be any branch. So any branch, uh, when we take any branch, then it is basically a single-valued function, and we we can talk about its derivative. Okay, 
Now, if we choose uh, the branch cut in such a way that B does not lie on the branch cut, okay, if B does not lie on the branch cut, then uh, we can uh, define the derivative that we are going to see further. Okay, so uh, what is branch cut? We know that it's a, it's a, it's a basically array uh, that basically separates uh, the two branches. And uh, of course, if B is uh, uh, somewhere in the complex plane, then we can choose uh, our array in such a way that B is not on that branch. Okay, so because uh, this branch is basically uh, the point that we have, th there we have troubles. Okay, so it have discontinuities and other problems. Okay, now uh, if B does not lie on the branch cut, then we can define its derivative in the following way. And of course, we are only focusing on the one branch when we write down this B raised power Z. It means one branch of this multivalued function. Okay, so uh, once again, uh, using our definition, this is going to be equal to E raised power Z log b alpha now this alpha indicates that we are choosing our branch cut depending on this alpha okay so uh, moving on uh, using the definition of uh, derivative of uh, exponential function this is going to be equal to e raised to power z log alpha b of course the derivative and the derivative of the inside function is going to be equal to d by dz z log alpha b okay now of course this is basically a fixed complex number and the derivative of z is basically 1. Now this gives us the following expression. So this is uh, the derivative, uh, derivative of uh, b raised to power z and of course this expression is nothing but b raised to power z. So what do we get? So we get that uh, the derivative of b raised to power z is b raised to power z log of b and of course alpha indicates that we are choosing a, a branch cut depending on this alpha. Hence, we have the following uh, expression for the derivative of this uh, exponential function with base b and b does not lie on the uh, branch cut and it is only for one branch of this uh, exponential function. This is uh, the end of our discussion on uh, uh, exponential functions with uh, other bases and uh, complex exponents. In this uh, uh, series of uh, three modules, we discussed how do we define complex exponents? We explored which of the properties from real analysis and uh, of course uh, 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 exponents in real analysis holds in the case of complex analysis and we also talked about uh, uh, the derivative of uh, these uh, uh, exponential functions. Uh, this is the end of our discussion.